scientists have developed a new form of high resolution printing which could have wide ranging applications in data storage anti counterfeiting measures and digital imaging new research from the university of glasgow published in the journal advanced functional materials outlines uh, how engineers have developed uh, nanoscale plasmonic color filters that display different colors depending on the orientation of the light which hits it essentially this new technique allows the printing of two entirely different but exceptionally detailed uh, full color images within the same surface area something which has never been done before using structural color techniques instead of relying on dyes and pigments as in traditional printing structural color uses specially structured nanomaterials to render colors the nanomaterials allow for much higher resolution prints uh, which do not fade over time the research team's breakthrough comes from including an additional nanoscale element in the structural color process there are many potential applications for this plasmonic color technology it is ideal for long term data archival due to its ultra high resolution and because the colors won't fade even when exposed uh, long term to the harshest sunlight we could store 1.46 gb per square centimeter so a single a4 sheet could hold more than 900 gb of data secondly the process to produce the plasmonic colors is difficult to replicate without access to dedicated facilities so it could be ideal for creating a new kind of anti counterfeiting material for banknotes Lastly it offers the possibility of developing new types of color filters for digital photography. Structural color uh, refers to color that is not derived from pigments or dyes but color that comes from light interacting with micro or nano scale structures and surfaces. And a good example of that in nature would be the wings on a butterfly which are that lovely iridescent color because of light diffracting across the topography of the surface. So what we're doing is we're using a type of structural color from a field of research called plasmonics and that's specifically how light interacts with nanoscale metals so incredibly small metallic structures uh, that have particular properties that when light interacts with them they they look a particular color and by changing the size and the shape of those little metal structures we can dictate what color uh, is it you know shines back at us as so we've created um these structural color um pixels Uh, which can be one of two colors uh, depending on the orientation of light depending on the polarization of light that shines on them they either are one color or another color one of the applications of this, of this new technique is in very high resolution image printing whereby you can actually store two sets of information or two sets of images on the same surface using the same structural color pixels a very good example of, of where we see a technology like this being used is in something like anti counterfeiting uh, whereby you can create Uh, incredibly high resolution images of over 100,000 dots per inch uh you can embed those on a surface uh like a banknote or um the label of a whiskey bottle or something like that uh and you would have this incredibly difficult to forge high resolution image that much like the holograms that you see on uh in anti counterfeiting strategies strategies currently uh when you shine different polarizations of light at this surface you would get different images back